everyone, my name is Kevin Handlin. I go by Sky Burial on Nugget Bridge and Twitter. Um, you're watching Spire to the Sky, where I practice for live tournaments on the VGC ladder on Battlespot. Um, and today I made a bit of a wilder change to my team. Um, I'm using a Pokemon I'm not too used to in VGC, which is Manectric. Um, and the reason I put him on my team is because um, I noticed as soon as I started using Eveltal and Kyogre, that uh, I, I was pretty vulnerable to electric types, so I wanted to have something with lightning rod, and um, it looks like we're going up against the big six team without uh, Salamence this time around. So I'll go ahead and lead something I've been enjoying lately, which is Kangaskhan and Gengar. Um, really like how it matches up against the big six so far. Um, I usually like to fake out and taunt in turn one. Um, yeah, we'll see what he does. Uh, we've got Icy Wind for speed control. Um, this could go bad. I might want to use Talon Flame instead. Mm. Nah, we'll try it out. Um, I ended up putting Gengar on my team in place of Cresselia. Um, because Minectric is my Mega, and, um, so I had to switch Mawile out, and it, because of that I felt a little vulnerable to Xerneas, and so I, uh, I needed basically, like, a better answer to Xerneas. So, that's, uh, that's what we're going with with this particular, uh, this particular set. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the plan, we're gonna go ahead and Fake out Zerno here and taunt the Amoongus. Um, yeah, I was really expecting this miracle. That's interesting. Maybe he bought both. Um, so with this approach, um, he might have a mental herb. Um, it wouldn't be out of the question to see a mental herb on an Amoongus so that it can get... Oh, okay, so he's just preparing for the, uh... Okay, cool. Um, so because he did that, I think what I'm gonna do is double edge the Amoongus. And I kind of want to go for an Icy Wind, because um, it'll first off take out the Amoongus, and mm, gosh, I wish I had Talon Flame right now. Uh, yeah, because he can just Rage Powder. Um, yeah, we're doing this. Okay. So fine, he's going to get a Geomancy up. Um, you gosh oh my gosh are you kidding me Ugh. that's so annoying all right well I think this game's pretty much lost there goes the geomancy um yeah so you can just take out my Kangas gone with the dazzling gleam now if I see when it hit either of those then um we could have caught I'm so irritated um Yeah, if I see when to hit that Amoongus, then we'd be okay right now. Um, but it didn't, so we're not. And, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling too good about this. Um, I'll go ahead and double-edge the Xerneas in case I'm able to survive, and I'll Icy Wind. Um, that's really annoying. <laughs> Man. What's the accuracy rating on Icy Wind? I gotta check that. Um, I I am so irritated right now, guys. Um, okay, so he's gonna switch out of Moogus, get some Regenerator Recovery, probably go for a good old Razzle Dazzle. Um, and, oh, he doesn't. Okay. So that's fine. Um, maybe, oh, we can definitely bring his Kangaskhan now. Um, yeah. 
Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and double it with the Zernies and Willow with the Kangaskhan. Um, yeah. I need to put skill swap on this Kangaskhan. Okay, and he's got <laughs> he's got a scrappy gang. Um, that's not really that common, guys. At least last time I checked. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna get out well on the head. There's no way I can win this at this point. Um, his did Willow with miss? Man, I'm having bad luck. All right, next time we come up against a big six team, we're going with the game plan of just Kangaskhan Talon Flame. Um, yeah, I'm not doing too hot on this season so far, but it's only two losses. So. Um, We'll go ahead and forfeit. Um, I don't really have much to come back with right now. I don't have any speed control. Everything's been missing. Um, yeah. Pretty annoying. Um, so yeah, I put Gengar on my team because I wanted a way to handle Xerneas um, with my Mawile gone, and I don't know how well that's working out. Um, so yeah, um, and I wanted a taunt. Um, because Trick Room is, a, is one of my primary ways to handle Big Six, and uh, specifically to handle Smeargle, so, um, hmm. Alright, cool, so we're up against Combust Andy, or Combust Andy, um, he's got an Eveltal Groudon team with Whimsicott, and I still... Okay, so Minectric is coming because there's a Thunderous. Um, I'm really curious to see how this plays out. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and bring Talonflame for the Whimsicott. Um, I like Kyogre and Eveltal here. Is that what we're going with? I think so. I think that's the choice. I think that's the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, if he leads Groudon, then we can switch in our Kyogre and fire off an HP water against it. Um, so, I like that. Um, guys, if I get too low into the 1400s with this, I'll probably just switch back to Eveltal Kyogre for a little while, and um, I'll go for a... Um, Hmm. What's he, what do you do here if you're a Kangaskhan? Um, I think I'll go ahead and bolt switch into a Veltal and Quick Guard. Is that a good is that a good play guys? That's totally a good play, I like that. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> I always worry, you know, with with new stuff. Um, okay, maybe he goes bring Green Grout on here? He brings Green Grout on. Okay, well, if he's smart, then he double-edged Talonflame, and we're in a horrible predicament. Um, and otherwise, he probably, I don't know, faked out? Why would you fake out and switch, though? The whole point of Fake Out is to start exerting offensive pressure. Um, I don't think he would have faked out. Um, yeah, he probably double edged his talent from here. And I can't bolt switch out, so. Um, I haven't run the count to see if my talent flame was a minus one double edge, but I'm pretty sure it'll still get the count. So, um. Let's see what happens. Um. Okay, yeah, so he didn't fake out, so he... Okay. Gosh, that's annoying. Okay. Alright, um, what I am going to do here is protect and tailwind. Um, get some speed control, and hopefully he takes out my talent flame so that I can start, um, applying pressure to his team. Okay, so we tried to sucker my... Okay, 
so that's also fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, I think what I want to do here is I'm gonna switch in my Aveltal and I'm going to Flare Blitz this Kangaskhan because I don't think that he will Sucker Punch with the Brave Bird threat as it is. I'm banking on him not going for Sucker Punch. Okay, cool. Awesome. So, um, there's a really good chance that we just get the one shot on this Kangaskhan. Um, and we don't get it. Which is fine. Uh, I think he went for a Precipice Blades again? Okay, he went for a sub. And that's, that's fine too. Um... We can actually snarl through that substitute, and that sounds really good, actually. So I'll go ahead and go for a snarl, and Brave Bird the Kang. He doesn't really have anything that wants, just wants to switch in on this, so we'll do that. Um, we started off at a pretty poor disadvantage, guys, but uh, we're making a bit of a comeback. So... Um, I'm feeling pretty good, honestly. Um, I really like the way Minectric worked out with that Intimidate. Um, it's not bad at all. Oh gosh, that did really respectable damage. Um, and he goes for a Fire Punch onto a Veltal. Okay, that's fine. Um, we take those. <sighs> okay. So, he probably predicts, predicts that I'm going to double in to... Okay, cool. Um, okay, uh, I could switch into Manectric, get an Intimidate. I think the Substitute doesn't absorb that. Um, but then I'm wasting a turn of Tailwind. Um, yeah, he's got a bit, of a, a bit of an advantage here if... Okay. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just break this sub, or at least try to, and I'll go for a Brave Bird on this Aveltal. Um, okay, so we get the Brave Bird off, that's cool. Um, he's probably going to start snarling with Aveltal. Um, that is definitely what I would do in this scenario. Um, oh, he just went for a Sucker Punch. Okay, that's awesome. Um, and he didn't protect his Groudon, so, um, we're looking pretty good. Uh, we're still gonna have another turn of Tailwind, uh, so, okay, that's fantastic. That's just beautiful. So, I think here what I do is I Sucker Punch the Groudon, and I go for Tailwind again, so that, um, yeah, we can bring in... Kyogre and have it start doing cool stuff. Um, hmm, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, cool, so we get our Sucker Punch off. Um, and he also goes for Sucker Punch, and he really wants this Adelta gun. Um, oh, awesome. So, our Sucker Punches are faster than his now, guys, um, which is pretty hot. Um, and I think that I would like to... If I bring in Kyogre, um, hmm, there's really no reason to bring in Kyogre. Um, okay, um, let's make this through. If I bring him an Ectric, I get an Intimidate up. I can bait him into... Oh, gosh, this is annoying. Yeah, um, he's probably going to switch out to Groudon so that he can ensure the Sun stays up. Um, I would very much like to switch him into the game. So... We're going for that. Um, I think that I will go ahead and yeah 
I'm just gonna use a Veltal as like an opportunity to have a third Pokemon, I guess is the way to put that. Um, and I'm gonna Volt Switch this Eveltal. Um, yeah, I like this. Um, he's probably gonna start trying to wear down my Manectric with Sucker Punch. If I was a gambling man, I would say that that's the best case scenario. Um, okay, so he protected Groudon. Um, that's cool. Okay, he sucker punched Manectric. Do we live? We don't. Okay. So, um, we're gonna be in a bit of a tough, tough spot here. Um, given that he is going to be able to sucker punch my Kyogre. Um, and it looks like he has black glasses based on that damage. Um, although, you know, when I am you, I am not very used to. Uh, I'm not very used to Manectric yet, so I don't know the calcs for it living um, a specific sucker punch or what have you. Um, at at like specific attack, I, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. Um, so, I think my prerogative here is to Dark Pulse whatever comes in. Okay, so he protects his Eveltal. Um, I feel really good then, because um, I still have another turn of Tailwind to work with. Okay. I don't think he's got a very good Pokemon in that. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it's entirely his intention to leave in his grout on. Um, we're, we're just gonna water spout again. Uh, maybe he gets a double protect on his Eltal as well. He's really, really intimidated right now. Um, we're gonna Dark Pulse again. Maybe he was just scouting for moves? Maybe he was just burning a turn. I mean, he definitely was just burning a turn to Kaelin. That definitely happened. Um, yeah. I don't think... Wait, it's his Salamence in the back. No, it's his Kangaskhan that's pretty weakened. Um, so... Oh, it's, it's a Whimsicott. Okay. Well, that's... Yeah. Okay. Alright, he's going for that. That's cool. Um, oh god, he's gonna encore us into Water Spout. <sighs> Dang it, guys. We should have sucker punched. Um, yeah, we're done. So, we're clocking in two losses today, guys. Um, mmm, that's annoying. Okay. Show me that sweet, sweet Encore into Water Spell. Oh! Protects! Okay, cool. Weird. I think we're okay then. Uh, or he takes us out with Grass Knot next turn. I don't know. That did a lot of damage. Um, this is a very bulky Kyogre, so that's kind of upsetting. Um... Yeah, I don't know how much I like Kyogre, guys. I don't think it's my thing, but yeah. Okay. Well. All right, so two losses today, guys. Um, bit of a bummer. Uh, I'm still getting used to Mactric, definitely. Um, we're gonna see if we can bring it back with this thing. Um, if not, I. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna stick with the Veltal and Groudon for, uh, for Salt Lake City. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed with how today's games went, but you know what? They were learning experiences, uh, you gotta test what you can when you're using your stuff, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, 
Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, we, uh, we're going to be featuring a little bit different content this week. Um, I'm going to be doing a special with a friend of mine who's up in Fort Collins, um, who uses a bit of an un unconventional Pokemon that I enjoy a lot. Um, so look for that. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, once again, uh, the, the content schedule is accelerating these days because I'm no longer in school. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the content in the comment section, and uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, look around the corner for more uh, for more Spire to the Sky. <laughs>